All right, welcome back to another episode of See If The Tatter Presents Draft Prospects. And today we're going to talk about Elijah Holyfield. Uh, obviously, this is a Vander son of a real deal Holyfield, a boxer. Elijah made a name for himself by, I'm going to say quietly, rushing for over 1,000 yards. He had um, right, 1,018 yards. Uh, you know, in the SEC, that's great. You know, anytime you get 1,000 yards over in the SEC, that's, you know, the SEC is the NFL D League, so to speak. <laughs> And he got a thousand yards in there, and that's you know I did. He's a, he's a track guy in high school, so he got size and power. Look at those muscles. You can see on the pictures I have up there. He's a five eleven, five ten, two hundred fifteen pounds. Uh, don't know if he's gonna test that. Uh, well, not test that, but be that size when the combine shows up. But he looks the part. He looks the part of a, a NFL back uh, with his size and power, and surprisingly his speed. It's it's crazy how you know. You'll see how fast he is, and you don't normally get a guy that's this rocked up with that size. But uh, Elijah has that. Uh, he was, you know, Georgia has been producing backs upon on top of backs upon on top of backs, and so um, you know, let's get into Elijah Holyfield and see what he did. Uh, what he did for his, I don't think it was his senior year, but what this year in the NFL. I mean, in, in not the NFL, in the SEC, or AKA the baby NFL. Let's run it. I'm gonna play through it and then kind of bag it up a little bit and talk talk again. You know, with our normal format here on uh, Sip the Tally. Outside zone. Now stick that foot in the ground. Get up the field. I right, just run that back. So you run the outside zone to the right here. Now what I like about it is is when this player is developing, he has to read the the block of this guy i'm thinking these these two guys he has to read that and then make up his mind whether he wants to try to outrun him to the outside or stick his foot in the ground and go but this play is developing 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 and now he knows he can't get outside look at all this traffic all that traffic so he's looking for an opening to hit see that wall of white jerseys right there he, he knows the cut right behind it he gonna stick his foot in the ground and get up field. Boom! He hit that hole. That's what you need. Cause it ain't gonna stay open long. So they still for him right there. Another like seven, eight yards out the contact. All right, play two. Again, let it run through. Bam! Get about there's that track speed. He's able to get to the edge. Let's run it back. All right, obviously it's a run play, run formation. They got what? Let's see how many guys they got in the box right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight guys on the line of scrimmage right there. Nine, ten, and got one wide receiver out. So this is some kind of, I don't know if it's a dive or inside zone or, 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 or what, but it's going to start to hit right here in this A gap, and it's going to end up bouncing out because they, they just, bob it up and cluster it up and bunch it up and that's where his speed comes in you would you would think a guy this big this rocked up would have the speed that he has and he just outruns the guy to the edge originally the play was supposed to hit in the middle you can see all that just uh was this kentucky did a good job of just bunching that up bunching that up but they weren't prepared for this guy's speed to just burst bam even pass Gone. Good run right there. Uh, next play. So he has his speed. He has a fairly decent vision. I'm sorry. I am should be letting this run first. Then we're going to come back. Another dive type play. I, I don't want to call it inside zone. It may be some kind of inside zone, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, that's that zone. That zone right there. And they got number five cutting off cutting off the uh, guy. And five cutting off the, the edge guy on one side, eight and nine tight ends cutting on the other side. So, getting here, don't have much. Push the hole, push the hole, watch the jump cut. Right there. Good job of reading that block. Good job of reading the tackle block. Stick that foot in the ground, that right foot is in the ground. He's going to push right behind 71. Bam, get through there. Good timing on it. Stick right behind him and get up field. No wasted motion. 
Now he drags the guy another two or three yards. Next play. Now this is definitely zone. I can tell by the movement of the line. This is definitely zone. They're trying to be an A-gap run on inside zone, which is what I love. Okay, now you see the power. Now you see what those muscles are for. The power. Just regular inside zone right here. You don't come off. They wash it all down. And now it's one on one with this backer. Who's gonna win? One on one. Mono mono e mono. Run over. Drive him to the end zone. So he has the speed, the power, and the vision so far. Another inside zone. Hits the hole, pushes the hole real good. Burst through there. Reading the block. That damn good blocks right here, too. Damn good. Hat on the hat. Now they come going up to that guy. Shit, that's what inside zone supposed to look like. Good guy. There it is. Hat on the hat. I love it. And he hit the hole full speed. Hit the hole full speed. Now this guy, he's going to take you for a little ride, buddy. Take you for a little ride. Another seven, eight yards after contact. All right, let's let this one run. Hey, elusiveness and burst. That's what we get on this, elusiveness and burst. All right, so this, this place should hit the middle again. Uh, Kentucky did a good job of gap control. By, look look at Kentucky's D-line. I know this is a holy field, but look at, that, look at them. All of them in their gaps. Good gap integrity by Kentucky. Good gap integrity. Look at that. Holding their gaps. A gap guy, B gap guy, C gap guy. And they got it. And this guy should run. This guy, this is alley guy. Then who fails on this play? Alley man. Because they underestimated speed or he just not fast enough. One of the two. Now he on the edge. The alley guy should be right there to clean that up. He's not. Uses that block from the receiver. Now, cornerback, it's your turn. Do you want to tackle this guy or not? I don't think so. He outruns the corner to the aid. I've been asked, how can people support my channel and help it grow? And after talking to other YouTubers, Patreon.com is the answer. Any amount donated will help build the channel. My goal is to get a telestrator and help explain the ins and outs of the game even more. So go on over to Patreon.com backslash Zip the Tally to support the channel. And there will also be videos for subscribers only in the future. This is Coach Evans, and again, thanks everyone for the support. And head on over to patreon.com backslash sip to tellage. Outrun, uh, he could have ran over the corner, but he out chose to outrun him, and, and that's what happened. So this is another guy, this another game rather. This is, is this, I want to say it's Middle Tennessee, I think. Another little stretch. What Todd Gurley made, made famous there, and what Todd Gurley is still running in the NFL. This stretch to the right. I think this is the one play I had the negative on. The one negative I saw so far in watching these two or three games I did. Now, I'm not saying he's perfect, not the perfect running back, but the one negative I saw, and I think it's this play. Run the stretch, run the stretch, bam. That's your hole right there. Why not shoot shoot, shoot right through there? That's your hole. He's looking there, you know, why the, the, the great backs with great vision. Gonna stick this right foot in the ground and go right there, right now, because that's where hole, that's where his hole is. But he he pushes it to the edge, and you know he still gets yardage. But if he bursts right through there, he he probably hit his head on the goal post and gets tackled right there. He just he just missed his hole on this one. I mean, it's it's just to me maybe hindsight is twenty twenty. I'm not taking these handoffs, but I feel like he should should see that because you can see the edges. This guy does a good job of, you know, maintaining the edge. For now, he's in a good position. Hit that. Hit it right there. It's right in your face. Hit it. Take it to the house. Because if you hit this right now, this guy not going to tap you. And everybody else by the line of scrimmage also. Because you got you got track speed. Because I, I noticed you got a track background. I think that was in high school, though. That that guy's not going to tap you yet. Nobody else going to catch you. But he still got positive yards, so I ain't going to complain too much. I think that's what we were just talking about in that last play. Hit it right then. Hit it right then. You're good. 
right out the middle. Good burst. It's going to open up right in your face. Good job. Uh, Georgia has a, a darn good old line. Ready? Right there. Now burst. Broken tackle. I'm going to take number three pretty fast. I'm going to say that. All right, this is against Auburn. Let this run for a second. Little stretch. Outside zone. Look at that power. Got got touched early in the in the in the play. Anything after the touch is run after the run after the touch. A yards gain after the touch. I forgot what the proper term is right now. It slips me. Had on the hat for the old line. Man, this old line's pretty darn good. Didn't realize that. They're pretty darn good. Watch how what look at the vision. There's nothing there. Nothing. 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 Broke that tackle. Broke, that's two tackles broke already. Or broken, rather. Let me, run, let me carry three guys down the field. Well, that's four guys. Mm. You're going to have to do that sometime. You're not always going to have a good a good blocked play. So you got to, you know, use your power. That's why you live weights. One. Two. Three Auburn guys right there. Four Auburn guys. He's still not down. Then the O-line come in and help clean it up. A good... Nine yards after the initial touch. The initial touch is right there. That's like, like the 30. That's the 50. So that's right around the 43, 44 yard line. Where he gets touched. The minus 44. He's at the 50 now. And probably gets to the other. The Oh, no, I'm sorry. My yard line's jacked up. Let's go back with this math again. So that's the 30. That's the 20 that's striped off. So now he's initially touched at like the 14 yard line. Gets to the 20. Ends up at about the 25. So that's nine yards after the initial touch. And you love that in the back. That's a, that's a power back right there. Now on top of the fact that he can run and has decent vision. Jump cuts. Jump cutting speed to the end. Jump cuts, speed to the edge. This is the perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. I didn't mean to start that over. Let me skip to the end so we can talk about that. Sorry, folks. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Here we go. Don't pass this one. There we go. Against Auburn. So now they run that same, the inside zone type deal from the pistol. But now the pistol on the center. These 80, 18 and 87 is trying to cut off the backside. Okay, job. Auburn's D-line clogs up the initial run. Now, again, he does a good job of bursting. Watch this jump cut. Right there. And now, that jump cut's so good, now he's in the open field. Now he just got to outrun people. Okay. So, what I think about Holyfield, positives, uh, strong, uh, fairly good vision. Um, didn't see him catch the ball at the backfield much, so I don't have his catching stats. So, I don't know how well, how good of a catcher out of the backfield he is. Didn't see very much pass pro when I watched him. Most of his pass pro came off play action. And when you pass pro off that, you can kind of be caught out of position and guys can kind of run over you and, and get you, you know, to make it to where you look bad in pass pro. I didn't see a lot of just straight up, but he had to step into the line and, and get a blitzing defender or, or block somebody off the edge. So I don't know about his pass pro. I don't know about him catching out of the backfield. But what I do know is he's built. He has the NFL build. 5'11", 5'10", 215, rocked up, thick legs. Uh, he has enough speed to 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 get you, you know, 70, 80, 100 yards in a game. Uh, if he gets with a good old line, that can may, maybe even go up. So I don't know how well his elusiveness is because he has a good old line. He's always uh, get not getting touched until after he's crossed the line of scrimmage. He hasn't had to juke a bunch of people. So, um, you know, I, I would take him in a maybe third round. But I think he's a good back because anytime you get 1,000 yards in the SEC – 
that that's darn good. So um, my take on Elijah Holyfield, a uh, second, late second, maybe third round guy, um, maybe even an early third day guy, which will put you in the third, the fourth round. Yeah, the fourth round is on the third day. Um, so I don't. Even, matter of fact, I, I take that back. He's not going to get to the fourth day with the run on backs that they're going to have. I think he's a late second day guy. So I'm gonna think he's a late third third round guy. And you know, uh, depending on what Baltimore wants to do, you know, at the running back position. You know, he could feel that role because we definitely do, we just got an extra third round pick. So I don't know how we're going to translate that. But he fit in that in that mode. He's not a first round guy. I don't think he's a second round guy. I think third at best. But he has the skill set to be a, a NFL back for a good um, seven to, to ten years, you know, barring any kind of injury. And I hope nobody gets hurt. So uh, my take on Elijah Holyfield, good guy, good prospect, um, speed that's not that don't normally come in that package. But I don't think he's the home run guy like a um, like a Gurley may be because he I don't think he's that fast. But because he's rocked up since he was a track guy. But I, I like Elijah Holyfield. Uh, make sure you know this is my second one for the week. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you go check out the other videos I did on other running backs. And be sure to tune in later on today or tonight rather for the uh, nine on nine. My top nine at nine. We're gonna talk about wide receivers. It's gonna be live. Make sure you tune in. Uh, after the after I give you my nine, we'll get in the chat box and a- answer questions about the draft. Not necessarily Ravens questions, but any questions you want to talk about, put them in the um, chat box and we'll talk about it. And again, this is Coach Evans. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, see you tomorrow. Well, later on today. <laughs>